All right, welcome back to the iOS dev channel, Max Codes. In this video, we're gonna be going over what a linked list is. So whether or not you're new to algorithms and data structures or you are reviewing them, you've already gone through a class at a university like algorithms and data structures, CS2042 or CS2420, something around there, then either way, you're gonna be learning what a linked list is again, and you're actually gonna be building out an entire linked list, a doubly linked list throughout this series. So let's go ahead and learn about what a linked list is so that we can jump into the very next video where we're actually going to start building it, okay? And if you just wanna hop into that video, feel free to check out the description. I'll link the next video down there. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a fun series where you're gonna learn a little bit about this data structure and how to completely build it out. And you're gonna be learning about pointers and a few other things like generics and Swift. And I really look forward to kind of teaching you all this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just hop right into it. I've written a Medium article on this and I'm just gonna kind of follow along with this article just so that I can kind of go along with this and refresh my knowledge as I'm explaining it to you so that it can be done clearer and easier, okay? Now, I won't link this there. If you really want to find it, you can Google it and find this, but I don't actually care if you go to this article or not. I think the videos will be just fine. Okay. So what I want us to do is kind of just talk about a linked list, okay? So a linked list is a collection of nodes, each node containing data and pointers to the previous and next node in the collection, okay? This differs from an array in that a linked list data is not ordered by a node's physical placement in memory, but instead which other nodes it is connected to. So what this means is that the only relation, the only way we know where a single node is, is basically dependent on a previous node, okay? If we don't have access to this node, then we're not really gonna be able to see the rest of our nodes. And this is probably very confusing to some of you who have never seen this before, but please just follow along and go through every single one of these videos in the YouTube series here. And I promise you, you will gain a better understanding of linked list by the end of this series, okay? So just despite the confusion, just keep going, you got this, okay? So this is a singly linked list and you can see these little arrows, okay? Up here where I say we have pointers to the previous and next node in the collection, you'll see that this arrow is the next node pointer, okay? We don't have a previous one here because this is a singly linked list, okay? So we can keep track of the next node with a next node pointer. And again, this is gonna make a lot more sense when we start coding it up and you can actually see the code. Okay, now again, we're gonna be creating a doubly linked list and the doubly linked list contains a single, or it contains a next node as well as a previous node pointer, okay? Now, what you'll notice here is that there's no arrow pointing to this first node here and that's because this is the first node inside of our linked list. And on the last node, there is no pointer pointing back. Now, there's another way of approaching this and it's called a circular linked list. And what you can actually do is have this last node reference the first node. So think of it like a loop or a circle. And then you can have this one be pointing all the way back, okay? So we're not gonna be doing that because that's not traditionally how a linked list works. We're just gonna be leaving this one and this one nil, okay? You can see here under the head and tail that the first and last nodes are are referred to as the head and the tail, but they're, uh, the left or the previous node on the head is nil and the, la the next node on the tail is nil. Okay, so again, this will make more sense if when we get co to the coding, but I just kind of want to give you an introduction to this so that when we start coding, you have a little bit of knowledge to kind of think back on because we went through this video, okay? So it's all just going to make a little bit more sense as we pile on these videos, okay, that you should be able to go through in one day. Okay, so you can read this if you want, but I basically just said that the previous node is nil because no node comes before it and the tails next node is, point, is nil because no node comes after it, okay? But then all of these have a value because they're all interconnected and I'm putting my fingers together right now because that's kind of how I think of it in my head. They're all connected together, okay? All right, so if you wanna talk more about performance, you can 
click on this link, you can Google the performance of a linked list. But again, that's not too important right now. What's important is that we kind of start building it out and understanding how it works in code. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be uploading a course on arrays and linked lists on Udemy, and I'm gonna have a section dedicated to performance, okay? So I'll probably upload a video to YouTube as well on that at some point, but again, this series is specifically just to show you how to build it. All right, so this is our game plan. We're not gonna follow it entirely in this order maybe. We'll see, I think I have a few different ideas, but if you were to follow in this order, you would learn how to build out a linked list just fine, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be creating a node class and a linked list class, and we're gonna be providing a last node to our linked list that already will have a front node or a next node, okay? And then we'll append nodes and go from there, okay? So that's it for this video. You now have a brief understanding of what a linked list is. I hope that added some value to you. Drop a like if it did add value. I want to know if this video actually helped you kind of understand the basics of a linked list. Otherwise, there is no point in me making it, right? we could have just started with the one video. So let me know if this video was helpful because as I create more linked list or more algorithm and data structure videos, I'm gonna follow this same format and have the first video kind of explain what the data structure or algorithm is and then we'll start coding. So again, if this isn't a helpful video and it's better to just start coding, drop a comment and let me know and I can approach my future series with a different approach, okay? Awesome. So drop a like, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you in the very next video where we're going to start building out this linked list. Link is in the description. See you in just a second.